too common for this girl guide leaders circle of friends. When tweeting about feminism, they've been given threats of rape, and um, when posting photos on Instagram, you know, any photos which um, involve pictures of their legs, they've received sexual like comments and inappropriate comments from strange people that they've never met before, and they feel guilty. As a cross-party group of MPs launch a national campaign to reclaim the internet, as they call it, research suggests the problem runs deep. Over a three-week period, 10,000 aggressive and misogynistic tweets were sent by Twitter users in the UK, targeting 6,500 people. Of the abusers, 50% of them were women. For Yvette Cooper, this is about protecting everyone. Teenagers uh, with suffering from online bullying that then affects what happens at school, or teachers being abused by parents and pupils. And you want the internet to be a positive space for everyone to have those real open free speech debates, but that means people taking responsibility and standing up against abuse. But some experts doubt it's possible to change the Wild West elements of the internet. If we liken it to the real world, it's like having police on every street corner, policing us saying what we can and cannot say, and frankly that's not practical for the internet. So I think as much as all this rhetoric is positive and everybody wants to stop abuse online, it's realistically not going to change very quickly. For those being silenced by trolls though, this is as simple as making people realise it's no more acceptable to behave abusively on the internet than it is in the wider world. Romney Weeks, ITV News.